Puss in Boots Once upon a time, in a special little village, there lived a kind miller and his smart cat, Puss. The miller didn't have much, but he loved Puss very much and treated him like family. One day, the miller got sick, and he had to leave Puss with his young son, Jack. Puss and Jack soon became the best of friends, and together, they tried their best to get by. One morning, as Jack was walking through the fields, Puss noticed a pair of fancy boots lying by a riverbank. He had an idea and brought the boots to Jack. Put on these boots, my dear friend, Puss said with a sparkle in his eyes. They will make you look like an important person, and people will treat you well. Jack was amazed as he put on the boots, and magically, they fit him perfectly. With Puss by his side, Jack put on the boots and set off for the neighboring kingdom. Puss told Jack his plan. We will visit the king's castle, and I will tell him that you are the Marquis of Carabas, a great and noble lord. Jack was unsure, but he trusted Puss's cleverness. They arrived at the castle, where Puss approached the king with a bow. Your Majesty, said Puss, allow me to introduce the Marquis of Carabas. The king was interested and invited Jack to join his court. Puss whispered to Jack, telling him to bow and speak nicely. As days passed, Jack, now the Marquis of Carabas, became a favorite of the king. Puss's wit and charm impressed everyone and the kingdom admired Jack's new title. One day, Puss heard the king's carriage coming near a big wheat field. He quickly made a plan to impress the king even more. Excuse me, your majesty, said Puss. I have found a magical wheat field that can grow more wheat by itself. If you visit this field, you will be amazed. Curious, the king agreed to follow Puss. They reached the field owned by a mean ogre, but Puss was not scared. He cleverly convinced the ogre to turn into a mouse, and with a quick jump, he caught the ogre mouse. The king was amazed by Puss's bravery and the magic of the wheat field. He rewarded Jack with land, riches, and even a grand castle. With the king's blessing, Jack invited his father, the miller, to live in the castle with them. Puss, who had become a noble cat, lived happily with Jack and his family, enjoying the rewards of their adventures. The End As always, visit us at www.readthetale.com for all your favorite tales and stories.